You may have caught up yesterday with a very curious story that involved Starship Hospital. And Starship Hospital a, a, appears to have turned down a $500,000 donation for woke reasons. Because the original reason they gave was that... Well, actually, why? rather than me tell the story, let's get the guy who wanted to make this generous donation on with us. His name's Mark Chittick from the Waikato Stud, and uh, he joins us now. Mark, welcome uh, to the platform. Lovely to have you with us. Thanks for your time. Good morning, Sean. How are you? Bloody good. Now, Waikato Stud, you're the owner of the, of the Waikato yeah. Stud? Yeah, that's right. Yep. All right. And you're quite a famous stud, aren't you? You've been around for a while and you produce some pretty good GGs from uh, my limited knowledge. Yeah, it's kept, it's kept us busy for a while there, Sean. And, yeah, we've had a bit of fun every now and again on a Saturday. Yeah. And enjoyed it. All right. Now, you have recently had a horse, I understand, in a thing called, what is it, the Golden Eagle. Tell us about the Golden Eagle race and how it works and, and why it involves giving money away to good causes. Yeah, that's exactly right. We were fortunate enough to have a runner there. So, this was a uh, race that was uh, that came about four years ago. That was um, the brainchild of the AJC, the Australian Jockey Club, and uh, you know they've just got such a vibrant industry over there. And to be honest, they've got that much money; they don't know what to do with it, which is great. And um, <clears throat> so they've introduced a number of races, but one of them, one of them being the Golden Eagle, and 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 it happens to be a ten million dollar race and um which is obviously spread from first to about um i think they take back to about 10th or 12th yep and um and 10 percent 10 percent of that 10 million obviously mm. spread across each runner um um can go to a um nominated charity now i did a little bit of research last Wednesday as to whether that money could come back to New Zealand because obviously that was that was my yep. my favourite thing. And you and, had uh, what was the name of the horse you had in it? Uh, I wish I win. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that wish came true. Um, so I did a little bit of research that yes, that money could come back to New Zealand to a verified charity, and straight straight away, you know the like children and families that are in compromised position, I thought that's that's what I want to if I want to give this uh, someone like that the opportunity, and so I went basically straight to the top starship. And one of the reasons for that was because we did have limited time to get this sort of signed off, and because the, the charity had to be verified back through the Australian Jockey Club, and I thought verifying um, starship's going to take five minutes, you know, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, so I rang, I rang, um, I rang Starship, and I got, you know, put through to eight different people, and I told the story each time. And um, anyway, I said, look, we have got limited time, uh, but can you come back to me? And yeah, they came back and and sort of said, look, you know, we we um, we've had a, we've had a talk about it, and and look, looking back now, they probably should have taken it a bit more seriously. Yeah, and they probably should have done a little bit more homework on it. Um, but they but came up with something that it was a conflict with existing arrangements or something, didn't they? Yeah, they didn't say that to me at the, at, at, in the, on the phone at the time. That was one thing that was in the in the paper yesterday. Um, and uh, well, what did they yeah, say they, to you precisely on the phone, Mark? There was certainly well, there was certainly mention of you know they haven't had the time to be able to investigate to look into it from their side of things, but also. You know, um, we've got to be very careful around donations from sports that involve gambling. That was the sort of... Exact oh, so, there, so it was wokeness, Mark, let's be honest. No doubt about it, no doubt about it. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, look, you know, um, obviously it was a pretty frantic sort of a day yesterday as this went around the country. Um, but I did uh, receive a call from, you know, the CEO of Starship yesterday and we... We had quite a yarn about it, and she she has apologised. And uh, I think basically what's happened, Sean, is well, know, they've actually charity. they've actually reduced uh, uh, put out a press statement from Penny Elliott, their PR person, which kind of I think tells a few fibs about what went on, Mark. Well, it certainly uh, there's certainly a little bit of truth in the in the in the timing, but you're right, there's a few bits in there that aren't mentioned, Sean. 
That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? But it doesn't take away from the good work that the doctors and nurses at Starship do, does it? No, that's exactly right. And I'm a great believer in them. Obviously, they, they're, they're fantastic people and they're in a very difficult part of the health sector. And that's why I wanted to give them the opportunity. And we must we must remember it was an opportunity at that stage. And I said to the lady on the phone, he might run last. There might be nothing. He might run 10th. He might get 10 grand out of it. But the winner, the winner is 10% of 5.2 million Australians. They weren't so, prepared uh, to take a punt on you, Mark. That was the problem. No, that's what I told the CEO yesterday. I said, I thought you must have gone away and done your form and thought I had no chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but your horse came in at win. I wish I win one. Yes, and there's a whole backstory behind it. Uh, you know, obviously we breed a couple of hundred foals, of it, or 150 foals of our own a year. And uh, this, this character was born with severe leg, leg deformities, let's put it that way. And... Um, so uh, he's yeah he's quite a character. There's photos gone round of his of his yeah. legs as well. But we just gave him a bit of time and gave him a chance. And uh, you know one of the reporters when he won his first couple of races said, "What did you do to intervene as a young horse?" And I said, "I put him by behind the hedge so no one could see him." <laughs> and anyway, there's fifteen thousand foals born throughout Australasia in any one year, and so he was one of fifteen thousand four years ago. And uh, it's only four-year-olds that can run in that Golden Eagle, and we're very fortunate to get the opportunity to run in it for that sort of prize money. So and how it, much have Starship turned down? Yeah, well, it was, uh, it was yeah, they turned down the opportunity, the horse won, and the first prize, uh, you know, the f- first prize money, the winning prize money was 5.2 million Australian. And ten percent of that was to go to the charity, and five hundred and twenty thousand Australian dollars Starship could have, could have had, if they weren't yeah. so woke. Crazy. Yeah. What happens yeah. to that yeah. money now, Mark? So, because I couldn't get this off the ground and was turned down, I was down to very limited time, and I was given a list of verified um, charities from from the Australian Jockey Club. There was three left at the time, and I and I chose. Uh, muscular dystrophy, New South Wales, and um, yeah, so they've received five hundred and twenty thousand, and they're pretty excited about it. Bugger, because I was going to say it's Gumboot Friday here tomorrow. I've had that lady on the phone, one of the hundred and fifty people that have rung me. <laughs> yeah, oh, I say, I oh, say so the phone's been quite running quite hot with people who could do with a lazy half million dollars. Yeah, well, because if you read the headline, it's, it sort of reads like I might have come back with half a million dollars and said to Starship, here you go. But, uh, I, yeah, it was the opportunity that, that that they had and that went to muscular dystrophy and, and they're extremely appreciative. And there was a couple of people there in the in the birdcage that were involved in the celebrations afterwards that were affected by this te- this, this terrible um, disease and they just had a great time. My trainer of the horse just said it was absolutely priceless to see them and how they were enjoying themselves. Yeah. Hey, Mark... Have you had to use Starship? You had much to do with our public health system yourself or not? I've had a little bit to do with my public, with the public health system. Um, went through a period with my first wife of, with battling with um, leukaemia and she unfortunately lost her life after a two-year battle. Yeah, so I've sort of been in amongst, been in amongst that and, I, and, I, and, and I've, I've experienced the incredible people that are, uh, that are in those places in the world. It's, it's, it's obviously very, very difficult. Um, and um, yeah, that's why I was pretty keen to sort of help out. I mean, through that period where we lost um, Lisa, you know, we did a lot of work around leukemia and um, you know blood cancer societies and all sorts of fundraising for them. Um, and uh, yeah, this time I sort of thought, let's get it back to New Zealand and let, let's let's direct it. It's away. such a pity, you know what? It's such a pity that wokeism has gotten the way of what would have been such a great good here in New Zealand. And I'm not dissing. Mus- muscular dystrophy, New South Wales, wherever it is. But, geez, it's a Kiwi horse from a Kiwi stud. You'd think that benefit would come back to help Kiwis or Kiwi kids, wouldn't you? That's exactly right. Now, I did enjoy one of the uh, one of the comments, and you know, where you can comment on, on, on the paper, and that uh, one bloke said, you, you go woke, you go broke. <laughs> yeah, I just wondered, too, how what effect this will have on people... And Starship's always got their hand out, and it's a good cause and everything. But I don't know. Uh, 
I, I'd say, Mark, and I know your industry gets an incredibly bad rap sometimes, but you are, a, you, you are a legal industry. There is nothing illegal about the gambling that takes part at a racetrack. There is nothing illegal about breeding racehorses. And I've been lucky enough a couple of times to look behind the scenes of a race meet and the preparation of a horse. Um, it's not exploitative. If anything, you know, it's a good life for those horses and it's a very rich culture, I would say. Um, it just seems such a pity that we have a, I don't know, a societal prejudice that has caused this complete mess up. Yeah, that, and, that, and that was the thing that, was the, that we were, let's say, taken, we took a bit of offence to. We were just, we were concerned that, that, that our industry was being looked upon that way. And as you say, we're a nursery, we'd bred this horse, there's God knows how many, you know, loving, passionate hands that have been on that horse between between the minute he was born and before that when the mare was bred, but um, when the mare, when the foal was born through through to him winning on Saturday, you know, and, and, and that involves, as I say, a lot of incredibly loving, hard-working, passionate... And people. it's not like with McDonald's, who got, like, the exclusive food rights to Starship... It's not like you wanted to put in, the TOB wanted to put in a tote outside <laughs> no. children's cardiology or the paediatric, uh, you know, centre. No, that's right. It, it had no strings price. attached to it or anything, Mark. No, no, no. I think they just they had a bloke from Matamata ring them and me mention what was going on and, and uh, they probably thought it was a bit of a far-fetched idea. Um, but, you know. All right, so the big question now is, and the, you're going to have charities lining up outside your farm. Is it a, called a farm or it's called a stud? Either or, yep. Either or, okay. You're going to have people lying, lining up at, at, at outside the fence um, saying, oh, we'd like to be in for next year, aren't you? Yeah, well, that's right, but it's only it's a one-off because it's only for four-year-olds. He, he, oh, he, okay. Only, you don't have another yeah. four-year-old you can put in next year? Uh, we're not quite sure yet, but if we do, if we do, um, I'm sure that New Zealand will be getting that money back this way and uh, and I'm sure there'll be a portion of it for Starship and hopefully many others. You are, you're a good bloke. Hey, look, just in general while I've got you here, I know since the last election, reform of the racing industry, which was largely being driven, uh, I know, or being looked at by Winston Peters as a very engaged and enthusiastic Minister of Racing, and I know that him getting that portfolio and certain policies in that area were part of the coalition deal he did with Labor. With Winston gone, and I think Karen McNulty is now the Minister of Racing, I know there were a lot of reports saying the industry and particularly the gambling side of the industry were in really big trouble. I know a lot of tracks and meets have closed to try and rationalise the industry here. Where are things at right now, Mark? Yes, there's been plenty of opportunities. Winston gave us opportunities. He reduced the the betting duty tax to the same level as Lotter on that. That meant at that stage, it meant another. This is going back, oh, I don't know, five years ago. Sure, yep. that gave that gave the industry another twenty to thirty million a year. Unfortunately, that amongst other sort of contributions, etc., has been gobbled up in the cost of running racing in New Zealand. It just it, it sort of has got out of hand over the last three or four years and um, therefore there's not the money to keep these facilities up to scratch and, uh, you know, and let's just call it simply a nice place to go. Um, yeah. You know, we, we we really do a good job of, of breeding horses in New Zealand, producing horses and these horses that go overseas and in particular, like we really do punch above our weight. We're very, very proud of, proud of that fact. It would just be nice to be able to be at home uh, with a racehorse and win a race and be able to pay for your year. At the moment, you've got to win three or four races. Um, and as I say, you know, my belief is, in particular, it's costing too much to, to run the industry. And more of that, you know, that when, I, when we say rationalisation, uh, the running of the, of the joint the, um, should be rationalised and more money should be, um, you know, creeping back towards the stakes, mm. basically. If we had better stakes, we'd have a better industry. Yeah. And I just want to clarify that Starship told you on the phone it was because you're a sport associated with gambling. That was certainly mentioned, yes. 
Yes, okay. and, and that was yes. by the CEO. Well, it was it was by the lady. Lady the, on the, la- phone. the last lady that I spoke to who, who she said, we've been to the brains, we've been to the CEO, and look, unfortunately, um, um, thank you very much for your kind offer, but um, yeah. we just have to be very conscious ar- around... We have to be woke, yeah. Uh, hey, Mark, yeah. Um, as they say, mate, no good deed goes unpunished, does it? <laughs> you know? That's right. <laughs> um, oh, look, I think you're a good bloke. Uh, what a good thing to try and do. That money's still gone. Uh, somewhere good, albeit in Australia, and I'll be honest, probably, for the Waikato stud, there's been a little bit of publicity that won't do you any harm uh, either. Um, good luck for the future, and, uh, uh, Mark, much. and uh, thank you for joining us on the platform this morning with just one of those stories that tells us what a wacky world we live in. Great yarn, Sean. Have thank a great you. day. You too. Mark Chittick, owner of the Waikato stud, a generous man whose offers were spurned. Now, I want to read, uh, so you heard it quite clearly from Mark. He was told Starship wouldn't take the thing, so that caused one story. And But then and we asked them on the program this morning, of course, we're very, very open. But, oh, no, they wouldn't front. They put out a statement, which, and I'm going to read it, but it seems to be at odds with the facts, as described just then by Mark Chittick. The... The Starship Foundation actually welcomes donations. This is from Penny Elliott. She here. She here, Penny Elliott, acting brand, digital events and Marcom's manager. Marketing communication. What a load of rubbish. Um, uh, The Starship Foundation welcomes donations from gaming societies and the horse racing industry and has long been the grateful beneficiary of donations of this nature Donations are the lifeblood of the Starship Foundation and every single dollar enables Starship Children's Hospital to deliver world-class health care for children. Mark Chittick's offer to be involved with and become the potential beneficiary of the charity component of the Golden Eagle Race came in at 3pm and required us to make a rapid decision by close of business the same day. As with any charity, due diligence is an essential part of our responsibility to accept donations In this instance, considerations around the size and offshore nature of the donation regrettably could not be resolved within this time frame. Oh, so it was logistics. It was time pressure. We are tremendously disappointed, as I'm sure are your young patients, that we could not meet the deadline and become the beneficiary of this incredibly generous donation. If we'd had more time, the decision may well have been different. We have spoken directly to Mark this afternoon, and he too is disappointed at the outcome, but acknowledges there were time pressures involved. He would have loved to be involved in the Golden Eagle with the Starship Foundation as the beneficiary, and he remains a huge supporter of the incredible work the hospital does for children and families in need. Both the Starship Foundation and Waikato Stud have a huge amount of respect for each other's work and industries and intend to work together to build a partnership in the future. Well... I gotta say it's not a complete save, but uh, Penny Elliott, you earned your money as a spin doctor yesterday. No mention of the fact that we went all woke because it involved gambling. Well, gambling's legal in this country, right? It's not illegal. So I just think silly, silly, silly Starship Hospital. Not saying you don't do great work and you need support. Not saying you shouldn't support Starship Hospital, but just another indication of the crazy woke world that we live in that damages rather than improves our society. And, you know, I'm not, I have my moral qualms occasionally about gambling and horse racing. Uh, but, man, that was a, they, they looked a gift horse in the mouth, walked away, and once the horse had bolted, they couldn't co- close the barn door. And it's like Mark tried to lead them to water and they wouldn't take a drink. Can I throw any more in there?